All right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Ubongo. Ubongo, all right. Do you like Ubongo? Yeah. Why? Because it's like a speed puzzle game. Cool. That sounds like fun. Yes. Well, it looks like you got a lot of puzzly stuff here. looks like some Tetris pieces type shapes. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, well, what's the objective of Ubongo? The objective is to finish your puzzle the fastest and get gems. And then the person with the most value of gems wins. Okay, I like that. At the end of nine, nine rounds. Do, 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 do. Okay, sweet. Well, show us how to play. So you both you start. You can have four people playing. Okay. Everybody gets a pile of shapes. Nice. And everybody gets a board to start out with. Okay. There's a three side with three shapes. Okay. Or four. Got it. What side so, do you like to do? I like to do the four side because it's harder. Ah, it's more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you could play with uh, younger kids. They could do the three side while you do the four side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, when everybody has their board, yep. you roll the dice and it'll come up with one of these five shapes. Okay. And because we got the elephant, we're going to use these shapes that go with the elephant. Nice. So those are going to so Part of the race is finding what shapes you got to get. Yeah. No kidding. So, okay. so you once know what you, you got to get. Doing, mm -hmm. Somebody will flip the timer. Yep. And you try to finish it by okay, go for the it. time that the timer is done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that one's not going to work. Okay. 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 Oh, you did it. And when you get done, what do you say? When you're done, you say, Ubongo! Nice. Did you beat the time? I did. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Then, when you finish, the first person that finishes gets a blue gem from the first one. Okay. The second person gets the orange gem. Okay. Oh, you didn't get it. And no, I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> the second person gets it. Okay. And then. But everybody can keep going. Everybody can keep going. And then if you finish your puzzle by the time that the timer runs out, you get to take a gem. Yep, it's out. From the bag. So anybody that's done now gets to just draw blindly from the bag. Yep. Cool. They would have gotten like a three. So if you get first and second, you're. If you gonna... get first and second, you can take from this and draw from the bag. So nice. you get double. Nice. Okay. And then. That was round one. Round one's done. You clear off your board. You put that in a different pile. You get a new board. And you start over. Wow. Well, there is a ton of boards. And everyone's got their unique shapes and They're areas all to go after. They're all different. Sweet. So you just rattle through all of those. If you got four players, you'll get through all of them once. Mm-hmm. Nice. And then how do you know who wins? The person at the end with the most um, value of these gems wins. All right. So you'll just add them up. Mm -hmm. So one for yellow or orange, and then two for green, three for blue, and four for red. All with the most wins. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, do you recommend Ubongo for families? Yeah. Why? Because it's a family-sized game with, like, four people, and it's easy for kids. Yeah, everyone can play together. Well, what would you rate Ubongo? I would rate it a four. All right. Thanks, Brooke. Yeah.